Okay, we're going to go through uh, Palm 2. Palm 2 is available for everyone through this thing. Um, Vertex AI, if you go to Google Cloud Console, uh, has a bunch of different models you can use. As you can see here, it looks a lot like um, what OpenAI had on their page earlier. Um, but I'm just going to show you this so you can see it. So they have they have tutorials. Vertex AI is sort of, I guess, like a sub. One of those, like, you know, how it has um, BigQuery and stuff, and, uh, one of these offerings on, on Google Cloud. So when you go to Vertex AI, you can do that by Google searching and then going to console. And this will be in your Google account. So get started with Vertex AI, recommended, blah, blah, blah. So there's an API list, tutorials. Model Garden is where we're going to go next. Uh, I believe this is the Generative AI Studio. Um, prepare training. You can, yeah, so there are other things to do here. Let's look at Model Garden. I just want to show you in case you haven't seen it. It's my first time seeing it. So there's Palm for Text, Palm for Chat, and Beddings for Text. Let's show, so they have, let's just do a quick overview. So they have foundational models. Uh, these are, we're going to go back here, fine tunable models, task specific solutions, task specific LLM prompts. So let's start, let's go back up here, foundation models. Uh, you know, pause and look, I hope you can time the pausing properly. As you can see, there's stable diffusion. They have image captioning. Uh, these are, you know, I've seen these used in um, uh, AI work workflows, blip. Um, fine tunable models, so data sciences, custom pipeline, let's take a look at this. What they have here, there's a vision transformer. So when this, when I first opened this, they talked about, well, there are so many different use cases for this. Um, they can do code, and we'll look at the models, the code, vision, uh, text, um, stuff like that. Uh, so if, you know, you're probably familiar with these kinds of um, uh, cases. So they've got their person blur. You can do that. That's pretty cool. Uh, they've got OCR, moderation. They've had this for a while. I guess it's all just neatly. I, I use Vertex AI two-ish years ago. And I don't remember this. Let's open this up uh, just for fun. Uh, this is the prompt examples. So Try a sample prompt my antivirus yeah okay thanks summarization so they've got a little library of prompts for you uh, add copy generation essay outline correct grammar so these will this will be important for people who are making their own tools and I, I recently was interested in um, Microsoft's sort of um, ecosystem to build your own tools. Okay, so let's take a look at the models available. See they've got code generation, code completion, text bison and text bison latest. Let's just go for it. If I could charge, that's fine. Uh, token limit. Okay, we're just gonna... We're not gonna do anything crazy. Uh, so write, uh, sure, write, write, um, write an advertisement. Oh my God, I can spell. An advertisement for a fictional theme park called East World. Uh, this was this, this was an idea that came to me at lunch. I thought this would be a fun where people can visit and the citizens of and where this oh, let's do it where the citizens of East World have smart contacts that let that um, allow visitors to appear however they wish uh, citizens of East World don't know about these contacts so sort of like Westworld but you know you can kind of buy uh, by doing this with the contacts you could uh, you know just 
pretend like you're whatever and no one would know the difference. Okay. So, let's see what happens. Error message. Okay, let's enable it. I think that's what we have to do. <laughs> so this might take a second. This is pretty cool. I can see why people would use that. A lot like the IntelliFlow. Enable. Okay, let's see if that worked. Okay. I feel like they did a little disclaimer. They changed it to Westworld, that's interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. Okay, let's try another one. Um, right, so I saw this one, right of final chapter for the great Gatsby. Now another issue, issue is the token limit, oh, they raised it. Let's give it a, let's give it a bigger cont. I guess this is, okay. So it doesn't, it doesn't know what I'm saying. Ref, oh, right, final, that's why, right, final chapter. <laughs> Maybe it thought I meant like final assignment, right? A final chapter for the Great Gatsby. Yeah, I saw. I forget where I saw this. Someone had done. Uh, I think it was with Claude. They had a larger context. So let's see the Great Gatsby. Went downstairs, made himself some breakfast. As he was eating, he thought about events the previous night. After breakfast, Nick went for a walk in the park. Nick knew that he would never forget Gatsby. Nick finishes walk and returned home. This wasn't good. This is not a good ending. But uh, you know, given this, given the size, I don't know. This cost me ten cents. Okay, write, write a. Um, this is a classic <laughs> word. When I saw this post about uh, stable diffusion. They had recently posted, I guess, on their Twitter, but uh, they showed this really cool uh, AI filter, I guess, for the video and. <laughs> And some of the comments were, you know, AI uh, workflow not included. And then someone said, well, the prompt is do it right. <laughs> 999. I thought that was funny. Okay, the sun was setting over the West Egg. The party was in full swing. We come to New Shore, but he had found what well, he had found. Like the people he met were all chasing after something they could never have. Blah, blah, blah. Nick turned away from the party and walked back in the house. He went up to his room. In the letter, Daisy told Nick she loved him. Nick knew the Daisy was not with him. Nick put the letter away, and then he fell asleep. Took a deep breath and went outside. This is better. Um, let's see. I mean, uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not up on the latest standards for testing these models. Look. Can you do a math problem? Let's see. What's the? Hmm, I don't know. I don't really want to do that. Are you connected to the internet? Uh, what's the? What's the cheapest flight? I wouldn't even know how to order it from uh, Istanbul to Beijing. Uh, the cheapest flight from Istanbul to Beijing in the next five days. How about that? I should probably lower my token limit. Cheapest flight. So it's not March, I'll tell you that. Um, anyway, there you have it. As promised, I believe this is a uh, this is this is I guess the um, name of the model under Palm Two. Uh, this would be the latest, as best I could find. I tried, you know, those articles. They'll they'll say where Palm Two has been released. They don't really link anything, so I thought I would take you there. Anyway. Um, have a nice day. Bye.